Hey everybody, KC here. So I've been thinking a lot about a question that somebody posed to me uh, last week when I was in Las Vegas for the National Grocers Association show, as well as for Grocery Shop, taking place at the same time in Vegas. Um, we talked a lot about this last week, about how in some ways these need to be occurring on different planets. And the question that was posed to me is, who takes the lead when it comes to innovation? Um, who, you know, because there's an awful lot of partners out there looking to help the retailers figure out what to do next and how to innovate and to do it efficiently with a, with a really strong uh, return on investment. And I thought about some of the companies that I visited as I was wandering both NGA and grocery shop. Companies like Alert Innovation, which is developing um, automated fulfillment systems, working for Walmart, but also developing systems that will be um, applicable to a lot of different kinds of retailers and wholesalers. I was thinking about Relex, which does retail optimization and, and in terms of forecasting and replenishment. I thought about Prosima, data science, right? Their whole thing is about converting data into action. Um, Kohachi and Peterson, I talked to Stephen Duffy a little bit about their solutions when it comes to developing MFCs. Um, there are a lot of different companies that I talked to. Um, uh, Vtex, I, uh, I talked to. I talked to, um, you know, God, the, 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 there were so many of them. And I found myself thinking about just the vast number of possibilities out there in terms of solutions. And, um, and in some ways, re right, retailers have to feel like they're drinking from a fire hose. But I came back to the question that was posed to me, which is who's got to take the lead? And it seems to me that's actually an easy question to answer. It's got to be the retailer who takes the lead. It has to be the retailer who has a vision. It has to be the retailer who's willing to say, hey, listen, I recognize that I may have to invest money here and I may, you know, and that lim uh, resources are limited and I have to make some choices. But if the retailer doesn't have the vision and, and the retailer is not willing to have skin in the game, if a retailer is just looking for easy answers, you know, wants to go the Instacart way, as opposed to understanding that if you want to stay in business, you have to invest and you have to invest in technology in a way that's meaningful. Well, if the retailer doesn't have that kind of vision, doesn't have that kind of gumption, well, you know, the retailer may not be able to survive. I know that sounds sort of, uh, I don't know, cold-blooded, I suppose, or hard-hearted, um, but that's the way it is. At the end of the day, it has to be the retailer that takes the lead. There's only one answer to the question. I think it's a, actually, it's pretty obvious, although I understand why sometimes it's not, because it's a very complicated world out there. Anyway, that's one of the things that's been on my mind um, since last week. That's what I'm thinking about this morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.